Hi everyone, this is Emmy. I've had a few people ask for a beaded bracelet, so I'm going to go ahead and show you how to make this beaded bracelet with a crochet base underneath. So let's get started. To make these bracelets, you're going to need some kind of a base, and you can use anything. You could use some denim, or some wet shirt, t-shirt, or some felt. If you use either of these fabric methods, fold it three times, and you can use that as your base, but I'm going to show you how you can crochet a base. I'm using a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook, two strands of worsted weight yarn, and I'm going to make a chain that's long enough to wrap around my wrist. So just check and see when it's long enough to wrap around your wrist. For this one, I just used my basic chain I fastened off, and then I just started working my beads on. For this flat one, I just turned and I single crocheted in each stitch across the row, and that gave me a flat section to work on, like that. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this flat section, and then I'll show you how to start the bracelet. Okay, so I've gone ahead and I have chained my base, and now I'm just going to tie a knot with all these yarn ends, and then I can just lay that over the strip and I work right over it. And I'm going to make this one in greens and blue. Now, I don't have very many blue, I'm just going to sew those down the center. So I have some sewing thread and a needle, and I'm just going to tack these ends down just to keep them out of my way while I'm working. And I'm going to sew my dark blue beads all the way down. Space them down probably about three quarters of an inch apart. Run out of thread, just go back and forth into the base and then start a new piece, and I just made a knot there, and then I go back through that one last bead just for security. Make sure that's good and secure. And just keep on working. Okay, so now I'm going to do greens up the side, and I'm going to alternate with a light color green and a dark, and a light and dark, and I'm going to sew those up the two sides. So I've got my threaded needle, and I'm going to start. I'm going to do take several stitches because I don't want that to let go. Thread on a light color, right on the edge. Sew through several times, just to make sure it's good and secure. And I'm going to place them between the blue ones. So I'll bring my thread up to here, add a dark bead, and sew that on. Okay, like that. So I'm going to do that all the way on this side and down this side. Okay, I worked all the way down that side, and I'm coming back up this side, and I keep just the part that I'm working on right here where I'm working because otherwise the thread is going to get caught in all the other beads. So I try to keep my thumb there so that it, the, the thread can't go anywhere else and I'm going to sew all my beads on on this side. Try to keep the thread from twisting, and just sew those on. And I usually sew each bead on about three times. And then move down to the next one. Here, put a bead on, and sew that on. Okay, now this is totally filled in. Now I'm just going to start filling in in between all these beads with some smaller beads. And I've got these little champagne colored ones, and some white ones, and some blue ones. And I'm going to put three beads on at a time. So I'm going to put a white one, 
a blue one. See, I have three beads. And right approximately in the same place where the thread came out, I'm going to sew the thread back in. And I like to just take one extra stitch because then if anything ever happens, all of the beads won't fall off. So three beads. like that and I'm just going to keep filling in every place where there's an open space with beads Okay, I've pretty much got this one finished. Um, this one, again, I just uh, did one chain, and I worked all the way around, and I haven't finished it yet, but that's how this one is panning out, and it will be a round bracelet. And for this one, I used some pink beads and some clear colored beads. I have some toggles somewhere, but I can't find them. So I'm going to sew one of these on each end, like that and then I'll be able to close the bracelet. I'm just going to sew that on with my needle and thread. Like that. Okay, I have both of my clasps sewn on. And now I cut a small piece of felt that's going to fit along the bottom like this. And I'm just going to sew that all along the bottom of my bracelet. And that's how that looks. It's all sewn on. And that's how you can make some very easy crochet base bracelets. And if you like this video, you might also like the following videos that are in my jewelry playlist. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.